I'm not returning my shopping cart. And you can judge me all you want. I'm not getting my groceries into my car, getting my children into the car, and then leaving them in the car to go return the cart. So if you're gonna give me a dirty look, fuck off. People like this lady are the people that leave the grocery cart out and like when you try to park in a parking space, there's like three carts there because they didn't want to have human decency to put it in the corral. Or the fun part is they'll throw their cart across the parking lot and then it hits your car and it dents up your car or you come out the scratches that came from out of the blue. Yeah, this it comes from people like this lady. She's going to say, I don't want to put my cart back in the corral because I got a lot going on and I got my kids and I got that. It's like, lady, it takes like 10 seconds to put the corral to the cart back into the corral. But yet, no, you only care about yourself and you're like, I got my own thing to do. Okay. As does everyone else. You're not special lady. Like she, she's really Delulu. She live in Delulu land. Look at her. Look at his face. This is a, this is the face of the person that'll probably go, like, go around and call the cops on somebody that's homeless that live in their car in the parking lot. It don't feel safe when someone's homeless and they're sleeping in the parking lot. Or she's the type of person that'd be like. You're not following the rules of the HOI. Therefore, we think that it's best that you leave. I don't know. This lady just makes my butt itch. Like, my ass was perfectly fine until I watched this movie. I mean, I watched this lady and now my booty itch because she is just a terrible person. She is terrible. She's not even terrible. She terrible. Terrible. Um, and then she was like... I, I, it's just pretty much me, me, me. I don't care about anyone else but myself. Therefore, I'm going to do what I do to make me feel good. But I'm telling you, if anyone ever did something at her job, whatever that might be, it clearly says doctor. So I guess she's a doctor of something. I don't know what. Probably the doctor of bitching and moaning, Miss Karen. You know, and she would be like, you need to be considerate. How about somebody show up to your job musty as fuck after they work? Have somebody come in her office nine to five working. I don't know. Construction smell like dog piss and uh, straight up onions. And they say to her that they didn't have the time of the day to take a shower because they needed to see her before they did anything else because they only worried about themselves. We as human beings have to realize, although some things might be minorly inconvenient, that when we try to do things that can make things convenient for other people, it helps make the world go round and it makes this a better and easier in existence for everyone. Like when you just the minor things, like for example, I have a friend that's a massage therapist, massage therapist. And she says that some people will come into their session smelly after working like 12 hour shifts of working construction. And it's just, yeah, you don't have to take a shower before coming in, but you should take a shower before coming in. It's just common decency. It's just the small things. But I guess people like this cow don't understand that. Y'all let me know what you think about this carrot in the comments.